Okay, this uh, second part is when the engine's cold. Uh, one of the things that you want to check for is you want to check the radiator and the radiator core for any leaks. Uh, you check the reservoir and make sure that the reservoir's got like a kind of a neon color uh, coolant. A lot of times when people are running the machines, especially here in Texas, uh, because we don't, the, the fear of something freezing over is not, uh, not, not very real. Um, people, when the radiators are leaking, they'll just put water in the radiator. So when you look at the, at the uh, reservoir, if you see that it's mainly water, you, that's evidence of a leak in and of itself. Um, so again, you want to check the radiator core for damage. You want to check the bottom radiator hose and the top radiator hose and make sure that they're not leaking. Uh, you want to check the fan belts, make sure that the fan belts are in good order. Um, you want to, you know, the other thing is you want to make sure that the battery is the right size. A lot of times people will put the uh, wrong size battery in a machine, especially when they're looking to sell it. If, uh, you know, the machine will work, it'll start the first few go rounds, but um, it'll uh, short life the, 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 the battery. Uh, you want to make sure that the electrical cables are all in good condition and not rotted or dried out. Um, you can see that these are in pretty good condition. The other thing you want to look for is, uh, you know, on the air compressor, you know, again, look at all these cables and whatnot, make sure they're in uh, the electrical cables, make sure they're in decent condition. Uh, if it's got an air compressor, you want to make sure that the air compressor kicks on and off like it should. Uh, the air filter here, uh, a lot of the bigger machines have got an inner and an outer element. Uh, you want to make sure that both the elements are there and that they're both clean. Um, the other thing you want to do is you want to uh, check for uh, any leaks in the exhaust system or you know that your muffler screwed on tight because a lot of times right around that area is where the uh, you start having trouble when the muffler breaks off of the manifold and so you want to check that. You want to check the exhaust for any leaks. Uh, you want to check that hydraulic pump. I don't know if you can get in there. You want to check that hydraulic pump for any leaks. Again, uh, when you're uh, when you're first looking at the machine, you want to do that. Look under the machine to see. You want to find the main control valve for the hydraulics and make sure that all the, the hoses are in good order and that there's no leaks on the uh, hoses. Um, the other thing you want to do is you want to check the uh, hydraulic uh, sight gauge and make sure that the uh, the color of the oil is uh, you know not milky in color or um, milky obviously is uh, water. I think that's about it for uh, cold engines.